So for those who don't know, my name is Corey, and I'm going to read a scripture and open up with, uh, with prayer. Okay. So this um the scripture is um, something that, that I've been kind of pondering for the last few weeks. Uh, you know, Thanksgiving is coming up, and of course we are to remember what the Lord has done for us and give thanks. So we're going to be reading from... Psalm 116, and it's a thanks for deliverance from death. And if you guys know anything about my story, this is um, kind of my, my heart speaking here to you. So I love the Lord because he has heard my voice and my supplications. Because he has inclined his ear to me, therefore I will call upon him as long as I live. The pains of death surrounded me, and the distress of Sheol laid hold of me. I found trouble and sorrow. Then I call upon the name of the Lord. Lord, I implore you, deliver my soul. Gracious is the Lord and righteous. Yes, our God is merciful. The Lord preserves his simple. I was brought low, and he saved me. Return to your rest, O my soul, for the Lord has dealt bountifully, dealt bountifully with you. For you have delivered my soul from death, my eyes from tears, and my feet from falling. I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living. I believe, therefore, I spoke. I am greatly afflicted. I said in my haste, all men are liars. What shall I render to the Lord for his benefits towards me? I will take up the cup of salvation. I will call upon the name of the Lord. I will pay my vows to the Lord now in the presence of all his people. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of, the death of his saints. O oh Lord, I am truly your servant. I am your servant, the son of your maidservant. You have loosed my bonds. I will offer the sacrifice of thanksgiving and call upon the name of the Lord. I will pay my vows to the Lord in the presence of all his people, in the courts of the Lord's house, in the midst of all of you, Jerusalem. Praise the Lord. I invite you here to this. Well, we come to you this morning uh, once again thanking you for uh, your blessings, Lord. Um, you often remind us to remember all of the things that you brought us through all of the times that you've wiped tears away from our eyes, um, all of your promises that you've kept. And Lord, I just want to acknowledge that we are so thankful and we love you so much, Lord. We ask that you would just be with all of the students here, that you would just um, just hold them tight, Lord. Just, just uh, give them comfort that in the years to come, that some of the struggles that they're dealing with now, they'll be able to see, see clearly your hand and your sovereignty in those. And again, Lord, I ask you to um, just bless the, the school here, bless our families, um, bless our friends, and Lord, just give us knowledge about yourself and help us to see you for who you are. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Aren't you all happy to be here? Praise the Lord this morning. Come on, give it up to Jesus. Praise the Lord. Yeah. All right, now will you please stand with me as we worship God? Amen. Amen. Day the Lord has made, let's rejoice and be glad in it. You give life, you are love, you bring light to the darkness, you give hope, you restore every heart that is broken.
stay standing as we do the liturgy so as we're doing this I want to remind you guys like the point of a liturgy so that you guys can you know, engage yourselves properly um, since we got the words on the screen over here so the point of a liturgy is basically like a like a profession kind of I'm leading you guys in a statement that you guys are making to yourselves and to the people around you um, so I want to just remind you of that as you're like saying these words I want you to like you know internalize them and remind yourself of their importance for all whose day starts with anxiety as they leave the security of home, worrying about my phone accidentally locking up and not being able to read things. Hang on. Talk about anxiety. Yeah, basically. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, for all whose day starts with anxiety as they leave the security of their home, worrying about the risk of infection. Take your meals, Loving God, be close. Keep them safe, along with all whose tasks today include the care of frail and elderly. And for all of us, grant wisdom and make sensible choices, not just for ourselves, but for everybody. Help us to put aside preconceptions about other people, because that alters our behavior. And Loving God, we give thanks for the extended family of local communities, assisting with the needs of both frail and elderly confined to their homes. Bring hope into lonely lives and a blessing to the giver. Amen. Amen. Dr. Hicks, you want to come up now? Let's give a warm welcome to our speaker this morning. Praise the Lord, everyone. Amen. Praise the Lord, everyone. Amen. First, giving honor to God. Thank you, Jesus. Who is the head of my household. Amen. And to all that's assembled here, I have the task, a task that's very easy, to introduce the speaker, the teacher, the preacher of the hour. <laughs> For those of who might not know me, my name is Fonda Hicks. We have two children, Tasha of Inglewood, California, and Blair, of Spotsylvania. We have six grandchildren. We have four boys and two girls, which we just adore all of them. Previously, Johnny Hicks, who is the speaker of the hour, he was employed as senior contract analyst contractor for the U.S. Fort Belleville, Virginia. He was also a support contractor for the Veterans Administration. 
He retired from the Army as a contractor engineer. After he retired for 21 years, he retired from Homeland Security Transportation Administration after um, a total of 46 years of total government service. Mm -hmm. Currently serving, he is the Associate Minister of Shiloh Baptist Church in Bowling Green, Virginia. He previously served as Associate Minister of the Shallow Baptist Church in Richmond, Virginia. He also, at Shallow Baptist Church, is the um, Director of Christian Education. He also is the professor here at Cornerstone College of Virginia. Previously served as professor of the Fredericksburg Baptist Seminary of Fredericksburg, Virginia. He also served as a trustee of the Spotsylvania Sunday School Union. And he also served as a trustee on the trustee board, first vice president of the Association of Ushers. Uh, some of his education is, he received his doctor's degree of Christian education at Andersonville Theological Seminary, a master's degree from Andersonville Theological Seminary in Christian education, a master's degree from Strayer University in Business Administration, a bachelor's degree from Strayer University in Business Administration, associate's degree from Germana Community College in Business Administration. Uh, Minister Johnny Hicks, call from God is to serve the church, the community of God's people, to live a holy life by facilitating the true word and at the same time grow himself in Christian living which include preaching the word of God and teaching all of God's children that they can do all things through the grace of God, through the Holy Spirit. The next voice you will hear will be that of none other than that of the Reverend Dr. Johnny Hicks. And I just wanted to say that, the, um, that uh, Professor Hicks loved his Cornerstone College, and he loves his students. <laughs> on Wednesday and on Monday, he loves them. He loves them. He loves the community. He loves his people. And um, so we're going to turn it over to none other than Dr. Johnny Hicks. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. I'm not too efficient on electronics. <laughs> Join the club. <laughs> <laughs> but I want to say first, thank you for having me come out here this morning. And it's good to see everyone. And I want to thank my wife for getting up here and introducing me. I didn't know what she was writing yesterday. I see now. <laughs> she wrote a lot. <laughs> she wrote a lot. Uh, I want to say thank you to the faculty here at uh, Cornerstone College, uh, president, good friend, a good man, uh, uh, Dr. Burnett, the provost, uh, my assist, my the man that helps me out on that Monday night class, <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Jonathan Henry. You know, it, it's online, but we make it happen. And Dr. Julie. And, and Audrey, it's great to be here today. It's great to be here. You know, in the beginning was the Word. That Word was God. That God, that same God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believe in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. What does love have to do with all of this? Our scripture today will come from 1 Corinthians chapter 13. I'm only reading seven of these verses. Do I speak with the tongue of men and angels and have not charity, 
I am become as a sounding brass or a tinkling cymbal. And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand the mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith so that I could remove mountains and have not charity, I am nothing. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned, and have not charity, it profit me nothing. Charity suffers long, and is kind. Charity in the not. Charity from the not itself. Is not puffed up. Doeth not behave itself unseemly, seek it, seek it, not her own. It's not easy to provoke, think it no evil. Rejoice not in iniquities, but rejoice in truth. Bear for all things, believe in all things, hopes all things, and endures all things. Thus, in the reading of the first seven verses of 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verses 1 through 7, let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for waking us up this morning in our right mind and giving us the strength to come out here today to hear the word that you have bestowed upon a servant's heart. Yes. Dear Heavenly Father, we ask you, we, you bless everyone that's here today. Yes. Bless them and their families. Yes. Bless the churches in our neighborhood. Yes. Dear Heavenly Father, we ask that you bless our country. Yes. Bless the ones that said lead our country yes. and cover them, dear Heavenly Father. And dear Heavenly Father, we ask you to bless the ones that wanted to be here this morning, but couldn't be here for whatever reason. Yes. And these things we ask in the name of Jesus to bless the word that you have bestowed upon my heart. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Scripture, this is the love scripture. This is what Jesus is talking I mean, about here. He bestowed this on Paul to say to one of the churches in Corinthians in his first letter to them. And we are all given spiritual gifts. However, love is superior to those gifts. Our gifts as Christians is given to help build up the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. While we are here on earth, 